Do you know how to measure the velocity of this water? After watching this video, you will be able to and understand about Pitot tube and the concept of stagnation pressure. Consider a piezometer tube. Piezometer tube is just used to calculate the static pressure by measuring the height to which a column of the liquid rises against gravity. The fluid is static, relative to the moving fluid. Hence, it is normally termed the static pressure. The pressure height would be same, considering the flow is steady and incompressible. But what? If we replace it with a pitot tube? The column height of the water will increases. And this extra height is called the dynamic pressure, caused due to stagnation pressure. When the water particle enters the pitot tube, its velocity will convert to dynamic pressure. And stagnation pressure is the total sum of static and dynamic pressure. So the stagnation pressure represents the pressure at a point where the fluid is brought to a complete stop. Now let us apply the Bernoulli equation and derive the formula for stagnation pressure. For that, let us write point 1 and point 2. Velocity at point 1 is the velocity of flowing water V, whereas velocity of water at the head of P top tube, that is point 2 is 0. The datum height Z1 and Z2 is 0. Now solving the equation with those value we get. Oh. Look! We get the pressure at point 2 that is stagnation pressure is sum of static and dynamic pressure. Now we can measure the velocity of moving water V if we know the dynamic pressure. And it can be easily calculated by measuring pressure head. Static pressure is same for both points. Whereas stagnation pressure or the total pressure P2 at P top tube is same. Please subscribe for more fluid mechanics.